Hi, my name is Ginny, and welcome back to Ginny Who Blogs. Recently, I went up to the mountains to see all the pretty fall colors, and in this little small town called Genoa, I found this cute little Italian bakery with lots of Italian foods and homemade pastries. So I bought this organic pasta from Italy, and it has all the fall colors, and it's called Nostri. So I had some tri-tip and mushrooms, and I thought I would make a fun dish. Well, let me show you what I came up with. I used tri-tip, Italian organic pasta, mushrooms, garlic, butter, Worcestershire sauce, white wine, pesto, and Parmesan cheese. You'll want to marinate your tri-tip. I used olive oil and rubbed classic steak seasoning, smoked paprika, garlic powder, pink salt, black pepper, and a pinch of sugar, and I covered it on both sides. Then you want to cover and refrigerate for one to four hours. When you're ready to cook your tri-tip, add some olive oil to a frying pan and heat. Preheat your oven to 400 degrees. Add the tri-tip to the pan and sear five minutes on each side. Place your seared tri-tip on an aluminum foil lined cookie sheet and bake for 20 minutes. While the tri-tip is roasting, using the same pan you seared the steak in, add one tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. Then you want to start your water for the pasta and get that boiling. Turn your frying pan back on medium-low and add two tablespoons of butter with the garlic. Then add your package of sliced mushrooms and start to saute, stirring often and letting them turn a nice golden brown. You also want to add a little bit of white wine, just enough to cover the bottom of the pan, and keep cooking on low. Then when your water is ready, place your pasta in the boiling water and let that start cooking. Then you want to take your tri-tip out of the oven and make a donut out of foil and place the tri-tip on top. This allows the tri-tip to continue cooking without sitting in its own blood. And let it sit for 10 minutes while you finish your dinner. While the pasta continues cooking after it's done, you want to drain it. And then you want to remove your mushrooms and put it in a small container and save half for later. Once you take your mushrooms out of the frying pan, then you want to add your pasta back into the frying pan. Then I added a generous amount of pesto and I let that cook through while the pasta was still cooking. Then I took half of the mushrooms from the container and I'll save the other half later for another dish. And I added some more mushrooms into the pasta and stirred. While that continues cooking, I then sliced the tri-tip and then I served with the pasta and a nice cabernet. Everything turned out perfect. It made a delicious dinner, and I loved the pasta. It was thicker than store-bought pasta, so it was really quite a treat. I know not all of you can find Italian pasta in a cute little Italian bakery, but you can always use your store-bought fettuccine, and it'll be just as good. Of course, I had leftover tri-tip, but I'll use it during the week for other dishes. I hope you'll enjoy making this. Leave me a comment below and let me know what your thoughts are about this dish. Be sure to click on the like and share it with your friends. Check out my YouTube channel and subscribe at Ginny Who Blogs. You'll find this recipe on my website, JinnyWhoBlogs.com. And remember, cooking for one can be fun. And I'll see you next week.